hi and thanks for watching I am going to create another pillow I have this pillowcase I folded it into the size that I want it to be I only have it pinned down for now with safety pin and I'm gonna go back in and sew it to the sides this is the original sides of the pillowcase it's um pillow slip cover it's huge really 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 big so i took it and just folded it into three like this and then i folded it down to the size and the height that i need it to be like that and pinned it so this is the size that i want it to be so now i have the pillowcase the pillow slip cover the size that i want it i just pinned it down and i'm going to actually go back in and sew it down really cute for now i'm going to go ahead and start laying down the jewelry pieces so i like this necklace here i'm gonna start randomly laying stuff down to see how i want to put it since i can't find the pillows i want i'm gonna just make it myself all of this like this is if you can see this is all broken and but this is why I don't get rid of stuff, just for reasons like this. I do want this to go across the pillow like that. So I'm going to attach this first. I'm going to take these little jewels apart just simply by just cutting them apart because it's a cheap and expensive. So I'm just cut it apart and I'll get individual little jewels like this that I'm just going to randomly place on the pillow. This is a broken headband. I may sit this across the top. I'm not sure. Okay. What I've done was take this snowflake and just break these apart. And this is what I was left with. So I just randomly placed them over the pillow like that. Then I'm gonna take this broken headband or something, I'm not sure what it is, and just lay it. I think I'm gonna take this one apart too. It actually has a screw, so I have to unscrew this particular snowflake. It actually has a screw on here. So I'm gonna take this apart and probably lay it here. I'm just placing the snowflakes where I want them to be and then I will go down go and glue them down just doing a simple sew in the back but of course if your pillow cover is the exact size you need then of course this step is not needed then I go place cotton in the corners and fill the pillow with a goose down pillow I do recommend a feather goose down pillow insert it makes the pillow so more luxurious okay so this is how it's looking 
Now I have to go and sew down the back. But I just put the pillow insert in. This is what we have so far. And this is how the back is looking. This is how my back is looking so far. So I need to go tack this part down and we will have a completed pillow. This is my beautiful pillow. Oh my goodness. It turned out so well. So beautiful. This is the detail. Let's get closer. I absolutely love these ornaments. Look at that. And as you see, I went out. I had to clear some of these glue strings off. But... I went in and added the jewels. This is just the the it's this this broken up and scattered throughout. These are the little crystals that I added. This is so beautiful. This one is, I'm not quite sure about that one. I may remove it and replace it with something else, but for now, it's there. So cute. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just to give you ideas, take pretty ornaments and add them onto a pillow, add it on with some broken jewelry, and create you a festive, beautiful, blinged out rhinestone crystal pillow and then this is the pillow I DIY before as well I'll link it below my two DIY pillows so beautiful hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for rocking out with me and I will speak to you guys very very soon bye until the next time bye bye